Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you better get with it because Halloween is upon us and I can already tell you're not prepared. So you may want to subscribe to my channel because I've got a whole bunch of ideas for you. In today's episode, we'll be recreating the Tin Man from Metro Goldwyn Mayer's 1939 film. The Wizard of Oz. Let's get started. What you're gonna need for the Tin Man. Googly eyes, I got two sizes. This is 0.78 inch or 20 millimeter. And these are 0.59 inch or 15 millimeter googly eyes. You're gonna need some silver duct tape. I got these awesome shoes. Now, I got these at the thrift store for 10 bucks. Oh no, five bucks. I got them for $5 at the thrift store and I thought they were perfect for the Tin Man. I got an ax just as a prop. We're gonna be painting this silver spray painting. Another prop, a heart, just ideas. I have two types of elastic. One larger for my waist, one smaller. The small one is, let's see, I'm seeing if it gives measurements. Yes, this is a half inch, and this is one and three quarters inch. And I happened to find kind of a silver tone on both of them, which was awesome. I have silver leggings, a silver top. These were all, th well, I already had this. Um, silver leggings off of Amazon. Silver gloves, again, off of Amazon. You're going to want a bald cap. Only purchase either the Mayron or Wuchi bald cap or you're going to be thoroughly disappointed. Do not buy these that I'm showing right now because they are awful and it's a waste of money. Even if it's cheap, it's a waste of money. This is the Mayron uh, or like I said, this is a whole kit and this is $32. The Wuchi one is about 12 to 15 at the costume shop. And then you're going to need some poster board and some Velcro. And don't forget your silver spray paint. Let's get started creating this.
so basically the whole costume, you're gonna have eight tubes and you're gonna fit those to your body. So I can't really tell you an exact pattern for those because it's gonna be however you fit it to your body. You're gonna have two forearm pieces, two bicep pieces. You're going to have two calf pieces, so your lower leg. You're gonna have two thigh pieces. And then here is our funnel we made and our body piece that we also made. We've got our ax that we spray painted and then now we're just working on the joints which I kind of took a couple of pictures. I'm going to connect them using elastic. I'm going to connect the middle piece here to both the bicep and the forearm and it'll be connected by elastic so that it will move and function. I'm going to do the same thing with the knees. It's makeup time and I've put in my blue contact lenses and as you'll notice I have my bald cap on and I have a new obsession I must confess the Miron bald cap professional kit. It comes with so much stuff. It comes with its own white liquid latex, comes with its own spirit gum adhesive, and even a translucent powder comes with its own little sponges. I mean, just everything you could think to need, little Q-tips, everything. And it's so worth it. If you have the money to get the kit, uh, it's just amazing. And it even has makeups that come with it, flesh tone makeups to blend your cap in. Of course, we're gonna be silver today, but I mean, this is so great. It's worth the $32 in my opinion. Like I said, if you can't afford to get the kit, Wuchi makes a decent bald cap. And those are, are well, I don't know how much they are today, probably 15 to $20, you know, but I mean, if, if you can splurge a little bit, pay the $32 and get the bald cap professional makeup kit from Amazon because you will not be disappointed. That said, we're gonna be using Mehran Metallic Silver Powder it has a solution that comes with it and basically you pour this whole solution into a bowl or something and you mix the entire uh, silver in there with it. Or if you're just doing your face like I am today, um, I'm actually doing the face, my face and the top of my feet and my whole head. So I won't need as much, I might just use half. In that case, I'll use half the bottle of the setting liquid. Oh, this came in the kit too, Spirit Gum remover. So it's a really great kit. I'm in love with it. <laughs> of course, I can't get it every time I need a bald cap because I'd end up with all this extra makeup and spirit gum. I mean, I guess I use it all the time, so it's not a bad deal anyway, but still. So we've got some pieces we need to put on our face. I did order a chin piece from Amazon, but it hasn't come in yet. So I'm just going to do what I do. I've got my Crayola Model Magic. I've formed into a chin piece, just like that. And I'm gonna spirit gum that on. Once that's spirit gummed on, I'm gonna hot glue rivets or googly eyes that I've spray painted to each end to make it look like it's fastened on with the rivets. So we'll do that and just a little bit of a round thing around our nose. The rest of the makeup is so easy. I mean, this is literally the hardest part, making the costume, and that's not even hard. Making this costume was not difficult at all. It's just time consuming. Poster board is a great medium for anything you need to make that is supposed to look like metal. I've made Rosie from the Jetsons with poster board. I made a paper doll costume with poster board. I've made C-3PO with poster board. I've actually done the Tin Man before, but it wasn't for me, it was for my son, and I made that with poster board. If you have children and they need a suit of armor, you can make it with poster board and metallic spray paint, a little hot glue, duct tape. What I do for all the pieces in there, I wasn't able to film everything, there's so many pieces, but the, once I get it cut out to the shape of my leg or whatever shape I want it to be, I'm hot gluing it and then I'm reinforcing with the duct tape. Obviously, underneath, you're gonna reinforce it with the duct tape. 
it works. It's a great medium for anything that needs to look metal. So, uh, and it's cheap. So this costume is gonna look like a million bucks. And I paid less for this costume than most of the costumes I've done this year. That's just, <laughs> that's just the way it goes sometimes. So let's get started. I need to make sure I have plenty of glue on my chin so that I can get this piece on. And Mayron provided me with one that has a brush. So I'll be using that today. Also, it's brand new, fresh. Halloween is next month, people. You don't have time to mess around. If you need to order stuff from Amazon, you better get on it. Because let me tell you right now, sometimes their stuff takes three weeks to ship. Sometimes it's the next day. So you never know. And you don't wanna be caught in the lurch. I've got plenty of costume ideas on my channel so you have no excuses. Don't be showing up to no Halloween party with no costume on, you're gonna get kicked out. So just watch my channel. You can, there's everything from real easy and simple to a little more time consuming. This costume in particular took me two days to make it. Give yourself a couple days or a week if you're working full time or whatever you can do, because it's gonna take some time, but it's real easy to make. And all I used was poster board, googly eyes, duct tape, hot glue, a stapler, and some elastic which I bought from Michael's. They did have silver elastic there, which was really exciting. Now I'm gluing my chin piece on. May need to go in with a little more glue. We'll see. I do want it to kind of form to my face. I need more glue under there. So once you put it on, you'll be able to feel the places that need a little more glue. This stuff is great. Crayola Model Magic. So this stuff is $3 and something a package. You can use it to make a nose, a witch nose. If you want to watch my Snow White Witch video, I made my nose with this for her, the big nose with the mole and everything. I use this a lot. Even the cheap looking piece I bought from Amazon, I don't know why I did that. It hasn't arrived yet, so I'm just making it. I didn't think of this at the time and I ended up buying one, but it was $10. So it's more than the Crayola Model Magic, costs more but it hasn't come yet and I don't have time to wait. That is why I'm saying to you, I'm not playing. Some things with Amazon take more time and with Halloween being, you know, practically four weeks away, you don't have the time to wait. Remember how I told you like in January, Halloween was right around the corner? Here we are. I wasn't playing around. <laughs> it's here. Hello. <laughs> now I'm gonna go off camera here so I can hot glue on my rivets. Because you have this piece here, when you put the hot glue, it's, you're not gonna feel it. It's, it's protecting yourself from the hot glue. So don't worry about that. Okay, the one more thing I'm gonna do here is right at the tip of his nose. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like the end of a funnel. So it's like a little dip in there. And then after these pieces are all glued on, we're gonna start our makeup and it's gonna be really easy. I got that nice and round. Now I'm going to blend with a little bit of this white liquid latex very quickly. I'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to get my color mixed. Now, I don't know if you all know a lot about The Wizard of Oz. Some of you younger folks might, uh, might have watched the movie. I, I think everyone's seen it. And then those of us who... Uh, had wild days, you know, back in the 90s. We would all watch it, <laughs> watch it to uh, Dark Side of the Moon. You ever done that? So if you're younger and you haven't heard of this, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album is supposed to align perfectly with The Wizard of Oz if you watch it on mute. I know that sounds weird and everything, but you're supposed to start the album at the third lion's roar. So you know Metro Goldwyn Mayer is represented by the lion in the beginning and he roars three times. So by the time the lion roars for the third time, you flip on the album Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd and watch the whole movie on mute and it's supposed to go along exactly with the Dark Side of the Moon. I had never personally done that, but me and my friends tried this with a different movie and a different album 
And it just so happened to be that we were listening to the album and we were watching Ed Wood on mute. This was the album version 2.0 by Garbage. And it, I'm not even lying to you, it looked like it was going right along with that album. So Ed Wood and Garbage's version 2.0 go together. And then the other one. So if you want to try that with your friends, maybe it'll be fun. <laughs> I don't know. So right now I'm mixing up my color. There's some quite disturbing facts about the movie though. You see this beautiful sort of wonderland, all the colors and the the magic of the film and those actors really went through hell. I don't know if you've ever watched anything on it, but there's a lot on YouTube about just exactly what these actors were put through. So the original person that played the role of the Tin Man in the Wizard of Oz was a guy called Buddy Ebsen. Watch how cool this is. It's <laughs> so good. And Buddy Ebsen was made to wear this metallic aluminum based face paint for the Tin Man. And he ended up really getting very sick over it. So sick that he was hospitalized and then they had to replace him. When they replaced him with Jack Haley, Jack Haley underwent the same kind of, you know, had the same kind of reaction to the paint because it's literally like cancer causing like bad stuff. All of the costumes besides the scarecrow were really torturous. I mean, these people went through a lot. They were working 16 hour days. The guy that played the cowardly lion, his costume weighed 90 pounds and he could barely breathe in it. And they weren't, because they didn't want to spend the time on the face makeup, they weren't allowing him to have lunch because they didn't want to redo the makeup. So eventually he just made his case and said, oh, look, I'm having lunch. You're going to redo my makeup. I can't do this. I have heard in the, no, I haven't seen this either because it's been a long time since I've watched The Wizard of Oz, but I've heard that in the Tin Man scene, you could see in the background where one of the little people were hanging themselves in the background. Like it wasn't, obviously it wasn't part of the film, but somebody had had enough and hung themselves. So there's really a lot that went on. And who was the star of that movie? Obviously it was Judy Garland, right? They treated her like crap calling her fat, but she was also, according to her, molested while on set. They wanted her to lose 12 pounds to even do the film. And she wasn't the person that was even originally supposed to do the film. It was supposed to be Shirley Temple, but Shirley Temple's management and stuff did not agree to it. So it ended up being Judy Garland. Also Shirley Temple, she didn't have the voice for, for the songs and stuff. She just couldn't cut it singing, singing the score for the film Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which ended up being Judy Garland's M.O. Like it was really her claim to fame. But that movie was the start, well, really her mom because her mom started giving her a bunch of pills when she was little. She was a vaudeville performer when she was younger, her and her sisters, and her mom was kind of like the manager. But being that Judy Garland was so talented, more, t more, more so even than her sisters, her mom had started her on drugs so that she wouldn't be sleepy while they were on stage and so that she could wake up. So she was basically taking pills to wake up. She was taking pills to go to sleep and her mom was giving them to her. And then she went on to do uh, The Wizard of Oz and that just sealed the deal for her. That was it. Um, made her a lifetime drug addict. She was addicted to drugs. But I adore Judy Garland. And what I do love about her is that she tried so hard to be a good mom, even though just the odds were just stacked against her. She really tried to be a good mom to her kids and she loved her kids. You know, unfortunately, her addictions got the best of her and she passed away at 47 years old. Pretty cool, huh? I'm trying to get up in there. All right. So yeah, if you ever want to learn more about The Wizard of Oz, and just the crazy stuff that went on. I'd recommend watching one of those YouTube videos that'll tell you all about it. There's several of them out there. 
it's just Hollywood is so sick. I mean, what they do to their actors just to make a buck, it's just, it's unreal. I used to, of course, we all probably wanted to be famous when we grew up. That was the thing to be, you know, famous, Hollywood, you know, famous singer, or favorite, uh, famous actress, or everybody at some point wanted that, the fame and the fortune. But there's a heavy load that comes with all of that stuff. And I'm so glad, not that I ever really had a chance, not a snowball's chance at all, but I'm so glad that I didn't end up in that lifestyle because it's it's hard and people think oh you know i even thought like for you you know you've got millions of dollars and the world loves you but man some of them go through hell like they literally sell their souls for fame and fortune and it's it's crazy to me like i couldn't do that you know i'm a christian and could never do that i'd be i bet i'd bow out See how easy that is? We're just gonna do our eyebrows. I gotta paint in here black and do our lips. And that's that's pretty much the Tin Man. I mean, it's pretty incredible. And like I said, the, the costume itself, it seems like a lot. And it is, it's a lot, but it's easy. It's not, it's not hard to do. And if you have any questions, if you're trying to create at home and you have any questions about what I did or how I did something, just leave it in the comments below. It's not always easy to get everything on camera, but I try to get enough on camera that you'll be able to kind of grasp the concept enough, you know, to where that you can create it on your own at home. I'm open to questions or, you know, anything you want to ask. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible because I know it's the Halloween season and you need this information. We're just going to do our eyebrows in black. We are a boy, so I wanted them to be kind of bushy. What do you think? I think it works. Very easy, too. For the body of my costume, I did cut the back open so I could get into it easier. Typically, I would, I would Velcro it together like we did on the Rosie from the Jetsons video. If you haven't watched that, it shows how you how you when you make a piece like that, you just add the velcro in and you can velcro it and fasten it together in the back. I did not do that for the sake of saving my velcro. I've got several more costumes to do this year. So it's kind of a little bit open in the back, mine is. But I can keep it and if I want to close it up later, vel add velcro later, I can. All right, I'm going to actually line my waterline with the black also. Just like that. Jack Haley had really pretty eyes. I don't know if you ever noticed that. He had really pretty eyes. I'm going to actually put uh, mascara on too. You want to get up as close as you can with the makeup. All right. Now I'm going to add mascara. Now we're going to color in the tip of our nose just inside the clay piece. We are almost there. I'm just going to darken my lips. And I'm using a black pencil for this. all dressed up i'm going to put on the rest of my costume and we'll take some photos how do i look now if i only had a heart
much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Of course, it's a classic, a great group costume. Of course, you have so many options when you are talking about The Wizard of Oz. There's so many different characters that are significant to that film. And you can go with a group of friends or just by yourself. Don't be intimidated by all the pieces of this costume. It's actually very easy to do. You can function in it. And like I said, always wear something underneath. If you want to take off the top or do the worm or whatever it is, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. And you still have something comfortable underneath that still looks like the Tin Man. And you can go on about your, your party or whatever. Anyway, if you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the costume. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.